Man, I washed this shirt and now it doesn't fit right at all. Look at this. What am I supposed to do with this? If I button this one? Lord, no. All right. This is what you're getting, folks. Okay, so all you 30-year-olds out there that just returned to the barbell, hey, you need to do cardio. <laughs> okay, I know some of you find it boring. I know it could be a frustration. Um, maybe you're not so good at it. Maybe it hurts your heart. <laughs> maybe you just don't want to do it. Whatever it is, you should do it. You should definitely do cardio. Uh, I'm going to link a video down below of Dr. Rhonda Patrick talking about the benefits that come from it. But essentially, your recovery will improve. Your ability to breathe as you walk upstairs improves. Uh, you're probably going to live longer. And it will ultimately help you reduce stress. Because now that you're in your 30s, uh, yeah, you're kind of stressed a lot. So do some cardio, all right? Uh, something I've really found to, to fall in love with is using the elliptical, actually. If you have access to a gym, great. If you have to buy one, I mean, cool, man, do it. But uh, it's a lot lower impact on my joints. I can get pretty good resistance. You know, you crank that resistance up, it takes a little bit of effort to turn those wheels. And I like it. You know, you don't have to map out a path to run down. You don't have to run through someone's private property and get shot at. And you can be in an air-conditioned environment if you want. So uh, if you're not really into the whole running thing or finding a pool to swim in or getting shot at, maybe an elliptical's for you. Uh, <laughs> rowing machines are also pretty fun. And, um, you know, just running in place can also be helpful. There's a lot of military uh, uh, routines you can go through, you know, where you, you alternate between running in place and um, what are those called? You lift your knees really high, like... Uh, Running in place. <laughs> you bring your knees up as high as you can, and then uh, then you switch over to jumping jacks, and, and then you do burpees and whatnot, and you just do sets of 10 or 10 seconds for each phase as you go through it. Look them up. They're great, and you don't ever have to you know, map out a course or um, leave the house to even do it. Uh, also wanted to mention that now you're a little bit older, and maybe you're a little more advanced in your lifting. So you're... Your work capacity is much higher, but so is your capacity to uh, be fatigued and to your need to recover is larger. I'm going to link another video down below um, with Dr. Mike Isretail. Uh, sorry if I slaughtered that name, by the way. Um, he just explains, like, as you're stronger, you're, you're going to need to recover more, right? And that, it makes basic sense, right? Lifting 400 pounds tends to do more damage to your body than lifting 100 pounds. Sure. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Uh, but there's, there's more nuance to it. Essentially, you can store up more fatigue than you could before because you're stronger, more capable of doing work. So um, that's something I've run into over the past few months. Getting back to the barbell, back to working out. Definitely need my cardio. It's helpful in all manner of things, and I would highly recommend it. Check out the video below. Um, and you need to recover. Not only are you stronger, but you're older now. You're probably not bouncing back like you were in your 20s. Eh, that's something I've definitely noticed. Um, maybe it's just excuses. Maybe my diet isn't 100% where it needs to be. Sure, sure. Uh, but you've got to get that rest in. I definitely don't sleep enough, and that, that adds up as well. So take care of yourself. I hope your fitness journey is going well. Come along with me, man. Let's get in shape and stay in shape as we get older. You know, set a good example for our kids. Live a longer life. Take care of ourselves. See you around.